Andy here from DIY Band. Um, my well, this video is some VSTs that I I don't think I could live without. Um, so why not share them? Um, first one I'm gonna go uh, through and tell you is this reverb here. Um, everything, all of these, all these VSTs will be, you know, they're completely free. They're just they're freeware. Um, I really uh, I stick this on on my snare um, and sometimes my vocals as well very simple reverb um, you know it looks nice and clean what I do is I'll just play you a little bit without it on the kit itself and and uh, just pay attention to the snare itself I'm gonna turn it on Off, on, there's only the tiniest bit of, of reverb on there as well and it just makes a massive difference. Um, you can change all your frequencies and all of that. Um, so that is plugin number one. Okay, this plugin is third base by I believe it's Helion. Yeah. Um such a simple yet there's it's so in depth this this plugin for for the bass guitar. Uh, I mean you could put it on like a bass synth as well if you wanted or something like that, but um really all I do is I I compress the signal. I load this plugin in. And all I do is just mess with this equal because like, I'm doing punk rocky stuff. I don't really need too much, you know, tremolo on the bass or any chorus or anything like that. Um, but it has it in there. It has like its own synth sounds as well. Um, but I just mess with the equalizer um, and we'll just listen to listen to how this sounds. That's off. Just makes it a little bit more uniform, and I uh, obviously stick another compressor on there afterwards. Um, third base, love it. Okay, the next uh, VSTs are the Reaper pack, um, completely free again, but it's actually a group of VSTs. Um, I'll just show you the the replug. So you've got a compressor, you've got delay, you know, EQ, a gate, that kind of stuff. Um, again, all for free. You've got side ins in there as well. Um, and yeah, completely. I mean, I only really use the compressor, the EQ, and the gate. I've got other thing, other plugins that you know that do my delay and stuff like that. But but these, I mean, especially the the EQ, I find extremely useful especially to get that feedback of where the frequencies are sitting it's very simple you can add um, as many bands as you like um, I'm sure that's not true how many bands can we add yep it looks like you can add as many bands as you like let's get rid of them there we go right um, so if we listen to this this vocal track here I'm a loser. I am a car crash boy with scars and stories. It comes up with the peaks that you've got. It's very accurate. It's very simple. I find it very nice. I'll disable both of them. I am a loser. I am a car crash boy with scars and stories. All right. Um. Absolutely. I'll, I'll put a link in the description for that one. My next two VSTs are mar well ones that I use for mastering. Um, one is specifically really for mastering, and another one um, helps. So what I will do is I will disable everything else, get this running so you can hear me. Um, da -da -da -da. So the first one we will be looking at is Dub Turbo 4 EQ Turbo. Amazing EQ. Amazing. 
Um, loads of presets. I, I use this preset, but I've changed it um, quite heavily to suit what I wanted. Um, if we listen to it before and then we'll chuck it on. Let's grab somewhere, maybe in a chorus. Massive difference with that EQ, massive. So love that, absolutely love that. If you only get one, uh, one plug-in from this video, get this one. Next one is a bit of saturation, again for mastering, and it's called Tube Amp by Voxengo. They have uh, a load of ESTs, Voxengo, but this is the one that I have picked out to be, uh, well, the one that I use the most, really. Um, I just, Stick it on the uh, master maximizer um, preset. I don't really need to do anything more than that. Once I've got this, so what I'll do is uh, in my chain, I'll have a, a dub turbo for EQ, and then I'll turn this on, um, and we will do, we'll play it again, we'll, we'll, and we'll bypass it, etc. Just glues it all together, turns it up, and it gives you a, a meter here, so you know you're not going to be clipping it. I mean, you uh, you compress it anyway afterwards, um, but I think it just just fills it up, gets you to that next stage. You know, I, I mean, you could use other other saturators, but I like the visual aspect of this one. Um, and that is it for this video. Um, I hope you found anything helpful. Uh, in this, I will put all the links. They are all free. They, you know, you go grab them. Go and grab them. You might as well. Let's make some music. Again, Andy from DIY Bands. Keep it punk.